Fight of the Bumblebees is the first of four episodic Wallace and Gromit point-and-click adventure games that are being released on Xbox Live Arcade. The game is developed by Telltale Games, who are responsible for the Summer Max episodic adventure games, and Telltale Games were initially formed from a group of former LucasArts employees who had experienced working on such classic point-and-click adventures as the original Summer Max, Grim Fandango, and Monkey Island. For anyone unfamiliar with point-and-click games, they are essentially interactive movies where in order to progress the story you have to solve puzzles using various items you've collected. These puzzles often require leaps of logic, or sometimes illogic, in order to progress. Fright of the Bumblebees is no exception to this, and the very nature of the Royal Syndrome animated films make them well suited for adaptation into this type of game. The only question is whether the game lives up to the heritage of both the developers and the source material. After playing through the game, my answer to this question was for the most part, yes it does. In terms of the graphics, I think that they really got the Wallace and Gromit feel, and I like the way that Gromit's mannerisms were expressed in the way I expect them to be. The music and the voice acting was also spot on, and while it is not P Peter Sellers voicing Wallace, his replacement is close enough to the original one performance that I did not did care it was someone else playing him. The only real disappointment I had in terms of the source material was that there was not that many visual gags present, which are a hallmark of what makes Wallace and Gromit great. In terms of gameplay, I thought that the game was fairly average for a point and click adventure, and even given its episodic nature, I thought the game was a bit on the short side. And if you know what you're doing, you could probably complete them in a couple of hours, if not less. The game also suffers the same flaw that is present in all point and click games, in that if you miss picking up an item, you can get stuck on some puzzles for ages. This can lead to frustration as you try and fail to work out what to do. I also mm. thought that the hint system Things in the game was practically useless, as for the most part it just told me which puzzle I needed to do, and did not give any guidance on solving it. Moving on to the achievements in the well, game, not. I thought they were fairly well designed given the limitations of the genre, Where did I put and encourage you to explore the oh, game yes. thoroughly. There is only one achievement likely to cause trouble, and that is the one in which you have to shoot down all the bees without wasting a shot. And even that achievement can be made easier through judicious use of the save system. In terms of the price of Fright of the Bumblebees, it is currently a reasonable 800 Microsoft points. And assuming there are no price hikes for future instalments, this means that the Xbox Live and PC versions of Walson Gromit's Grand Adventures are likely to cost the same overall. So there is no console price hike for change. As for the rating for Fright of the Bumblebees, I think it deserves a solid 7 out of 10. As well as it is a short game and has the standard limitations of the point and click genre, I enjoyed playing through the game and think the story has enough to make me want to play through the game again at a later date. Got him! Ah! Oh, that got away! Confound it! <laughs> 